Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, <laughs> where the fuck is Ash? That's a damn good question, ain't it? <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> but Hesh is going to be here in spirit. Mm. You know. But shit don't change. My yeah. ninjas, my ninjas. Yeah. Fuck going on, man. How we doing? How we feeling? How we living? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, Hesh never told what he was doing, huh? You know what? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For a nigga that don't go nowhere, that don't talk to nobody, yeah. don't like to see nobody. <laughs> Niggas go. <laughs> you know, the only thing I can do that shit is pussy, right? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think it is that. P- yo, pussy will get you out the house, though. Yeah. yeah. Nah, but uh, mm. that's just here, spirit. Mm. Hesh, man, how you doing, man? Hey, Hesh wants some sex. <laughs> that's okay. We'll come back to you, dog. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Bob, a lot, uh, man. Oh <laughs> yeah. Going on with you, man? How you doing? All right. How's your weekend going? Um, like shit. <laughs> That's okay, man. You got a little drink on your, uh, your hand? Yeah. Well, it kind of, it didn't start on Friday, but Friday we were supposed to play uh, <laughs> knockout, but yeah. I was drinking, uh, you know, the salsa shit and I got a little too fucked up. I was like, uh, I ain't going to make it. <laughs> My nigga, that was too quick though, because they're like. A certain, it was like seven or something. You said you was going home by nine. You was like, nah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. like, nigga, what happened? Because cause the fucking text I was going through, I was like, I'm about to go home and just drink. <laughs> <laughs> bitches, man. Yeah, but uh, the only thing that can get you like that is either bad family news or bitches. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So this is what happened, right? Okay. So. <laughs> Take a sip, man. It's all right. So, yeah. I like to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, so you know my um my car got totaled, right? Right. All right, my car got totaled, and the insurance was o- over my um baby mother's name. Right, right. That's not the problem though. Mm. The problem is that my ex, she's trying to get the plates off the car. Mm. So I told her, I asked her, I said, "Did you cancel the plates?" She said, "Yes." I was like, "You don't need the plates after that. <laughs> you don't need to return the plates after that." So. She's like, oh, yes, I do. I need it because uh, in case they hit me with taxes, I said, that's not going to happen because I went through four cars, right? Petty. I think <laughs> I went through four cars, right? I think I took the plate off of one of them. The mm. other ones, every anytime it was totaled and they told that shit, I just said, fuck it. Yeah, just, they just, just yeah, let they, them have they it. take it. Yeah, just, just, <laughs> I just canceled the plates and that was it. They never charged me. So she's hell bent on telling me that she's gonna get hit with this shit in the future. I said, No, you're not. Like you just cancel my line and it's over with. So basically. She <laughs> yo, I try to tell her I, I go around my dealership. So I'm asking everybody, right? I'm asking the salesman. Fuck fuck that. She says, fuck that I worked there for like 15 years. Fuck that. I don't know <laughs> shit. It's what she thinks. So I, I went there, I asked the salesman, I was like, yo, do you need to return these plates? Said no. Went to a uh, general manager, asked him the same thing. Do you need to return this place? He said, no. I even went to the, like, the, the financial chick that actually does this shit, that writes up the titles and shit and actually handles the plates. Mm-hmm. She told me, no, you don't need to turn them in. Like, actually, uh, she said like a week ago, we had a, we had a tray full of plates, like, like a whole, whole drawer. And she said she went down to, to the DMV and they just told her, like, nah, you, nah we don't accept them anymore. You got you to junk them. Mm. So... I told this motherfucker. She texted me. I tried to avoid it. That, yeah, I tried to avoid it. I got the text like Thursday, right? Nigga Bobby mad. <laughs> because like I, I was trying to like I was trying to avoid the fuck out of this shit. So Friday <sighs> came. She mentioned it. I ain't even I ain't even texted back. Saturday she hit me with the shit. Oh, uh, did you call the place? I lied. Hmm? I said yeah, but the niggas don't answer. <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, so you got get you got yeah um we got get got to get the plates. So they sent the bill. But you don't really have to pay. Like it's like uh seven hundred dollars. So I'm like, wait, hold up. So you want me to pay seven seven hundred dollars for the tow? The car can't move, it's total. So you want me to pay seven hundred dollars? That shit's still gonna stay there? Mm. And she's not thinking, and she's not thinking like that. So this shit just get me upset because this is the problem we had. Wait, is, the, is the car in like one of those uh last with a hold cars and it's like you get charged by the day or some shit? That's everything though. Oh, okay. It's just at a it's just at a tow place. That's it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, that, that's a that's a holding fee. You probably got paid then. Yeah, I'm not paying that shit. I mean, because I can't take the car. It's that's the, I, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know how that shit works. They could just call up the insurance company, and be like, "Hey, who the fuck this car belong to? They owe like three thousand dollars because we've been holding this shit since July." <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what the, well, what's gonna happen is because I dealt with this before. What's gonna happen is they're gonna market. They're gonna market as an abandoned vehicle. Vehicle, then scrap it. Then that's how you get your money. Mm. But she thinks that she has to pay it. She don't have to pay it. I keep telling her what to do, but she's helping on telling me what it is. And then she's like, well, my mom said, and that's what really got me pissed. Like, she, <laughs> you like your mom in the first fucking place, bitch. <laughs> I like her mother, but it's like, it's like, yo, like I'm telling you, and this is the problem that we had in a relationship because every time I tell her some shit to do, like she don't listen. She, she never fucking listens. She always does it herself. <laughs> I remember sometimes I told her about a bullshit friend that she had. She ain't listen to me. She's like, mm. she said, my shit one year and out there. I was like, all right. So, I yeah. I my whole life. Yeah, so <laughs> this shit, this shit is just really pissing me off because it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. That shit just got to be pissed off. I mean, this woman logic, man. She just, <laughs> she don't know what to do. She just don't want her to cost her money. <clears throat> She's trying to cut as many attachments to you as possible. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I ain't got to deal with this car shit. We just got a kid. Cool. All right, I ain't got to worry about hitting you up for no money in the future, yelling at you about this, that, and the third. Just let that shit go. <laughs> All right, man, I made my mind up. I'm like, yo, I'm never talking to you about anything again. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's about the kid. Other than that, uh, fuck you. I don't uh, know. <laughs> From now on, if she asks me something, I don't know. Me, like, yo, I don't know. that's how, that's I how I'll be with baby mama sometimes, <laughs> yo. Like, I want to choke life out of mine in 2020. <laughs> like, I was kind of playing moita. <laughs> 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 Somebody had to go. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be me. Oh, but man, you just gotta, you just gotta say fuck it, man. You just gotta throw your, you just gotta throw your hands up, Ricky Bobby. You just, you just gotta be like, I don't know, do my hands because I know I'm right. She gonna get them fucking plates. She gonna go down because she she don't give a fuck about the bill. It's the plate she's worried about. <coughs> she gonna go down to that shit with the plates, and then they're gonna tell them what they told me. They was like, yeah, we don't accept plates anymore. All you gotta do is cancel it online. Like you, you know. How many abandoned plates I be seeing? Mm. <laughs> and they, niggas be having them shit hung up. So you mean to tell me they're getting charged for that? Mm. She don't listen. Fuck it, man. All right. Hesh, what you think about the yeah. situation, <laughs> man? I'll only put my brain in a robot yeah, sure. body if I can put it in a robot cat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear from you, Hesh. <laughs> oh, how was this shit going? Um. <laughs> Nothing like that. <laughs> I was I was chilling all weekend. Um, what I do? Uh, since it's raining fucking Memorial Day weekend, I got like a three day weekend. Oh, I ain't, it yeah, it's raining a whole fucking weekend, dog. From like what Friday to Tuesday. Fuck. Ain't shit to do, so I got this three day weekend for nothing. So you know that's why I'm drinking. So if I can't have <laughs> a party outside, I'm gonna have a party inside my body. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> that's what the fuck I'm doing. Um, I've been watching basketball with my mom, and you know, just chilling out. Me ain't really doing much of shit. <laughs> 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 can't 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 go nowhere. Can't do shit. You know, I don't want to go to the bar and I like that. It's still Rona out, and it don't make sense to go to the bar. If Bar's open. Drink. It's a it's a bunch of places open. Like uh, in Black Rock and Bridgeport, they got a bunch of places open. But it's just like I don't feel like going out there and spending money. Man. If I don't have to, like if like if niggas ain't outside outside, and I can be like, <laughs> all right, I could spare a couple of dollars. But if niggas is like in the house, and I I just want to get out the house, like nigga, just sit your ass down. I ain't trying to go nowhere. <laughs> I went downtown. It was nothing but restaurants and shit open. Yeah, it's it's a couple places though, but a, a lot of places that I like closed down though. So it's like the bars I, I used to frequent, they just gone. So I'm like, I gotta find shit for nah. good. Yeah, they going for good. Like the oh, fucking shit. fucking bar I went to downtown Bridgeport called Murphy's Law. They turned that shit to like a seafood spot. Damn. Now. I'm like, fuck, man. It's like it's like some Jamaican Caribbean spot. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I'm like, damn, that was my that was my watering hole, dog. That was my <laughs> shit. That shit gone. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. Damn, that's fucked up. But you know, I'll find something come hopefully come like football season, I'll find something to do. Or, you know, I don't know. I'll probably be here most of the fucking time anyway. <laughs> but who knows? Um so, let's see. SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, wherever the fuck you get your podcasts, we are there. 3 Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com for any comments, questions, or concerns. If you want your question answered in the Ask a Ninja segment, you can reach us there. That is 3 Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to check out our website, 3 Ninjas Podcast.com. I think I figured out the black dad hats. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But any anyone that I think is like, a few, it, it was a few people that ordered that ass. So yeah. I'm gonna email y'all. If y'all like the new design, cool. If you don't, I get your refund. 
Uh, stores should be back open. I know I said last week that it should be open this week. That was a lie. So <laughs> next week it should be open. Just like one, once I get like the um, fuck is it called? Like like the sample back and like, I like it and yeah. I can put an order for the shit and then send y'all if y'all want a refund or not. Then I can open the store and be like, hey, all the shit for sale now. So them samples be costing a lot, my nigga. Mm. Like when you gotta, you know, get the sizing right and the positioning right, and like, nah, this I don't like this shit. I don't like this color. That should be costing a grip. Mm. But I did that shit with shirts and fucking. This is just too much, man. <laughs> but all for y'all, you know, still be back open soon. Uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the number three ninjas podcast. Everything goes back into the show. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts and YouTube. Hit the bell notification on YouTube. You know, every time we drop a video. Uh, if you like the show, if you enjoy the show, if you, you know, frequent the show, if you fuck with the show, leave us five star review on Apple Podcasts. It helps with the algorithms. Uh, consider supporting, uh, well, joining our Discord as well. That's somewhere flowing out there. We get about at least one or two people joining every week. They just find this shit or somebody shares it. And they, mm-hmm. just, they just get this shit. But, you know, come on in, nigga. You know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Other than that, damn, man, that shit ain't have the fucking question. <laughs> I got to read that shit now. Um, let's see. We got two questions. Uh, let's see. You want to go with the the fun one first or like the serious topic one first? Let's <laughs> get the bullshit out the way first. <laughs> All right. Serious topic one. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right. So this one is from Dare in our Discord, which you should fucking join. Hopefully you do. You can see all the bullshit that goes on. Mm. It says, let me enlarge this. Oh, fucking drink is starting to kick in. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's good, ninjas? It's Dare, a.k.a. Leftovers for Days, a.k.a. Dare to Destroy Her, a.k.a. Diary of a Mad Black Nigga. <laughs> it's about to be bad. <laughs> All right, so he says, I need relationship advice. Me and my wife have been married for eight years and we have five kids. We're relocating from Detroit to Atlanta. Uh, her job is transferring her, and I'm starting a new job. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Uh, with that, she will have to pick up our health benefits since I have to wait 90 days to get the benefits from my new job. Whole time we've been married, I've been paying it, and we and then we split the household bills and needs of the kids down the middle. That's how we. That's that's how it's always been done. Now she's asking me to pay all the rent, which is 1,300. Since she has to pick up the cost of the benefits, and and my answer is fuck no. <laughs> we both have good paying jobs, and until about eight months ago, she's always made more money than I have, but I've gotten a few promotions with my current job, and with the new job, I'll be making six six $6 more an hour than she is now. I need to know if I am wrong for thinking it's a slap in the face for her to ask that when I've been paying for health benefits for the last eight years. Uh, we've been arguing about this for almost a week now, and she's not seeing my point. Okay, so <clears throat> what I was able to gather was this nigga don't want to pay. He don't like the rovers. He don't like the flip flop. <laughs> so, um, hmm. I would say this is my personal advice. Fuck them kids. Fuck no, I'm playing. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but my personal uh, advice is this is speaking just for me, right? Um, I was I would say go ahead and just like just eat that three hundred dog, that fucking thirteen hundred, because it's not like you know she's just like some random asking you to pay her bills. It's like this is like yo, this is your whiz, this is your earth, my nigga. This is like your family. You asking you to house you, her, and five of y'all kids that y'all made together. He ain't asking you to do nothing else. I'm saying you making off kind of easy. If you got seven people to support, including yourself, seven people, that's a lot of motherfuckers. And you just in charge of the rent? I would say do that. And this might not be a thing that's just, you know, forever. This just might be until, like, the 90-day the period. So, you know, I would say do that. And then, you know, the whole motto of happy wife, happy life. You know, we matter, too. But it's just to say, just to keep peace, you don't know what's going on in her head. I don't know if y'all talked about, like, the the mental strain that it puts on somebody to actually, like, move from one coast to another and to move that many people and that much stuff from fucking Detroit. Detroit's the Midwest, right? Kind of? Mm-hmm. I guess. Okay, so you move from Midwest to down south. So that's a lot of shit to, like, pack. That's a lot of shit to move. That's a lot to think about. And then y'all got to worry about who paying the bills. 
if she's asking you to do it, it's not because she's trying to, you know, take advantage of you or she's trying to put more weight on you than than that's that's on her. She's asking you to like, you know, like just help me with this. Like y'all, y'all a team. Just help her with the shit. Do the thirteen hundred a month. After like the ninety days kick in, I would say then have the conversation. If you got some, you know, savings, some uh saved away, then you should be okay. But with five kids, I don't know how much niggas can actually save. <laughs> like how much is the benefit though? That's um, what I'm trying to figure out. But if you got benefits for five, so that's that's benefits for seven people. So that's like I dental uh regular physician checkups that's for seven people i don't know how much that's taking out niggas checks mm. and that's for like wow shit you like you don't know like he got five kids like one can need braces one can have like eyesight problems one can have this that you don't know what the fuck this niggas is paying out of pocket or playing mm. like per per uh week or every two weeks when they get paid um I would say after the 90 day period, revisit the conversation. But as of now, if she's asking you to pay it, I would just pay the rent the 1300. It's it's not like it's not going to benefit you, nigga. You live there, too. Well, <laughs> well, this this is his thing. This is his thing. His thing is that <clears throat> if I believe he said that he was he was paying for everything at one point. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of her turn to read turn the favor yeah. she's she not doing it so it's like what the fuck i've been doing that because I, I i went through that shit too with my um my fucking ex so this <laughs> shit is triggering when triggered, I, this. Triggered Bobby, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped mid fucking mid fucking paragraph i was like nah i can't read this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> this shit got me upset because uh my baby mother was living with me for like eight years and she ain't paying a goddamn thing mm. she ain't pay shit i was paying everything and it got to the point to where <laughs> when i lost my job during the fucking covid shit mm. And I made a funny fucking uh, Facebook post. I was like, well, <laughs> I'm out of work. Somebody got to pick up the slack. <laughs> Think that nigga picked up the slack? Nope. <laughs> I had to pay that shit with my fucking unemployment and my fucking um, my income tax by mm. myself once again. Yeah, but niggas, I mean, just just to, just to keep the peace during the move, my nigga. You're doing, you doing a lot right now with a lot right now. You know, it's seven of y'all moving. Just to keep the peace right now and to stop the arguing and bickering, y'all been together eight years. And you don't want money to be the reason why y'all motherfuckers get a divorce or, like, separate or some, on some shit. And you in a new fucking city where you probably don't know nobody. I don't know who you know in Atlanta, but it's like, <laughs> you're going to a whole nother fucking space. At least you have your family there. You don't want to break up because of fucking money. So, I'm just saying to keep the peace right now, pay the 1300 After the 90 days, revisit the conversation. Other than that, just keep everything peaceful. It's stressful on everybody, you know. You don't, you don't, do, I, ask ask your wife like what she's going through mentally other than like the job thing like if y'all live in Detroit I'm guessing y'all have family in Detroit maybe she's moving away from a family maybe it might be it, a lot of this shit might be taking a mental toll on her that's that has nothing to do with the job so I'm not saying like you don't matter but it's like <laughs> protect and provide my nigga it's just like you this is what you have to do if she's asking you to do it just I would say just do it man and just revisit it after the 90 days like hey so can we go back to what we was doing before and if she say yeah then problem solved you was doing all that bickering for nothing now y'all can get back to y'all normal life in a new fucking city um, I got a problem with this shit so <laughs> <laughs> because I I'm just trying to keep the peace between married niggas and they got five kids dog. <laughs> I know but I just got a problem with it because this shit is triggering the fuck out of me like I remember one time uh, this is when me and my girl she, we was how many years were we in I think we was like three, four years in a relationship. And I was like, um, cause I think I was on my mother's phone bill at the time. And I was like, you know what? How about I hop on your phone bill and help you pay your phone bill off? Cause sometimes, sometimes she'll, uh, she'll have her shit cut off. Mm. So I was like, how about I hop on your shit? Um, I get a new phone or whatever. And then like, we just move from there. And then she, <laughs> she hit me with this shit. She probably don't remember, remember saying this shit, but she was like, Oh, you only want to hop on my shit to get a new phone. I was like, wow. Like, that's what you think. Right. Yeah. Like <laughs> So, so I just took that shit and ate it. I was like, all right. So then I ended up getting my fucking own, my own line and shit. And <laughs> it's funny because that's when the shot clock started. <laughs> nigga, like, was like yeah, we just count down when the fuck yo. Nigga, after <laughs> after a while, like I, I ended up taking her off her phone bill and putting her on mine because her shit kept getting cut off. Mm. So I was like, damn, I did that for you with with without question, no hesitation. But, yeah, but anytime I ask you to do something, it's a fucking problem. You think there's some type of type of ulterior motive yeah. behind it? But 
I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what the fuck y'all been through or went through, whatever the fuck, to make her act like that. But or what she been through in the past before she met you. I don't know, my nigga. I'm just saying, dare, <laughs> do it, and revisit it. Don't try to argue in the middle of a move, my nigga. Moving is stressful enough. Just table this shit until you get a table <laughs> in your house. <laughs> just, just do this shit. Start your job. Enjoy your job. Get in the feel of shit. Ninety days, whatever. Come back to it. If it, um, you know, if she still feels the same way after 90 days, like, you know, you've been doing it for three months, keep doing it. Then you can state your case. If shit go back to normal, like I said, you was arguing for nothing. <laughs> this shit remind me of that man DC shit. <laughs> what? When the, um, <laughs> he was like, I don't know if I would have done the same thing. Now, nah, that's a real talk, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real, it's only, it's only so many times I could jack it before I'm like, Damn. all right, before, all right man, my, my hand is raw. I mean, holding down. <laughs> I can't do this no more. What do you mean by holding down? I mean, I still mean your corner, but I'm, you gotta get this shit up a little. Women are way better than us, dog. Yeah, in like much. every sense of the word. Yeah. <laughs> but hope we helped you there. Let us know what happens. So three months from now, or you know, after you have this conversation with your wife, just let us know what happened. Give us an update, please. Um, what was the next question? Uh. Um. Let me see. Let me see. It was in the email. If I could pull up the email quick enough. Ash, what what do, what do you think, man? Debbie, get down here. Give Ash some sex. That's that's not where we going. Hash, man. Come on. Never got no good advice, man. Come on, man. I so good you take it off the fucking air. <laughs> come on, Hash, focus, oh. man. All right, so this question is from uh, Pete Cons. He says, what's up, my ninjas? First time, long time. Appreciate you, Pete. He said, it's Pete, a.k.a. Pistol Peter Parker, a.k.a. Uncle Ben That Nigga. All right. <laughs> a.k.a. Death Stroke These Hoes. Not fucking with that one, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with you, Pete, but I'm not fucking with that one. <laughs> um, He says, I was watching Endgame for the thousands... Thousands this this time. You got that song? <laughs> no, but it's like, <laughs> is there a th on the end of thousands? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Tenth, thousand. I don't know. No, it said thousands. Th- sound like sound like fucking that nigga. That thing's on Tyson. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> thousands. <laughs> I pumped him for the thousandth time. <laughs> so I was watching Endgame. <laughs> All right, so P says, I was watching Endgame mad times, <laughs> and the ending fight scene still holds up after all this time. I still get chills when, Steve's, when Steve picks up the hammer. My question is, what are some of y'all's favorite or most surprising scenes in movies, TV, video games, etc.? Love y'all. Love the show. Hope y'all read this. Thanks, Pete. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's see. Movies, TVs, and cinema? Well, movies, TVs, and video games, etc. Uh, TVs that Daredevil scene in the um jailhouse. Oh, that shit, that with, was one uh, shot. Punisher? No, 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 not that one. The one with uh Daredevil. Wasn't that the same? Wasn't that in the Daredevil series or no? Yeah, it was both of them. Oh, okay. It was one that happened in. Um, oh Punisher. yeah, the one yeah, shot yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit was amazing. That shit was fucking amazing. <laughs> um, TV. Game of Thrones, dog. Game of, yeah, you know, that red wedding. I was expecting red. Re- the red fucking wedding was some wild shit. <laughs> um, everybody got shot. The fucking uh, when the Night King fucking spiraled that dragon. <laughs> like, like yo, I like when I was watching the show. I think you had told me about the show. I think my baby mother told me about the show. And like somebody else, like yo, you need to watch this shit. This shit is fucking amazing. I was like, all right, I get this fucking magical <laughs> shit a chance. Watching this shit, I'm invested. I catch up. I'm watching, I think I'm watching, am, am I watching The Dragon in real time when I come on HBO? I don't know. Mm. Maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, like, like the scene is right, you know, like, like the whole, like, what, what does this shit is the build up yeah. every fucking time. So when it's like, I'm invested in the show and the build up and they put it in your head that these dragons are not to be fucked with. If you got dragons, mm-hmm. you run shit. Yeah. So you got these dragons, right? They flying through the air. Ah, they're doing all this shit, right? <laughs> Jon Snow and um, Tormund and all them niggas is fighting. They don't know how the fuck they getting out. Then, then fucking Daenerys come down with the dragons, right? Pick them niggas up. 
Then the Night King just walks out the back, right? Like it's it's, it's the Night King and like his little flunkies or whatever, right? <laughs> they chilling, watching these niggas fight, getting ready to get away. They think they home. They think they home scot free. <laughs> right. They think they out of here. Yo, uh, one of his flunkies hands Night King a spear. Night King just walking up nonchalantly. He eyes one of the dragons. He like, all right, so Daenerys on this one. These two is free. Cool. No, matter of fact, I think one was on the ground and Daenerys was flying with another. I don't know what the fuck. But spots the one that like, I'm going to kill that one. This nigga locks on to this bitch. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Bow. Hits this nigga squat in the fucking wing shoulder <laughs> shit. This nigga falls out the sky. Daenerys' face is like, yo, what the fuck just happened? It's like, yo, I didn't know a nigga could do that shit. Let alone, I can't do that shit. And I have the dragons. Spirals and hit that motherfucker from at least like a a good kilometer, nigga. (laughs) Hits that nigga right in the fucking lemon pepper wing. That nigga falls into the ice. Lands, boom. Uh. Then the nigga breaks the ice. Falls into the ice. Everybody sitting there fucking shook. <laughs> Tormund, Jon Snow, Daenerys, the dragons. They like, yo, what just ha- We can't lose. We have dragons. <laughs> this nigga threw a stick and hit my nigga and he's dead. <laughs> and then they get away on the two dragons. And then on like the, the end scene is like they pull the dragon out the soup. <laughs> And then wake the nigga back up as an undead dragon. Yeah. He's a blue eyes white dragon now. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> we didn't uh. know this could happen. <laughs> I have the dragon, dude. Yeah, that's some Dragon Ball Z shit. Yo, you know what? Dragon Ball Z too, because every time they introduce like a new thing to beat, yeah, it's goes. always crazy. <laughs> like when they introduce Cell, when Cell was just sucking up a bunch of people at yeah, first, yeah. and then he actually like became perfect when he got the androids. <laughs> it's like, yo, I don't know how to beat this nigga. Yo, <laughs> like we can train in a hyperbolic all we want. Yeah, this nigga's difficult. <laughs> and then when like Boo, they couldn't beat Boo because like Boo is made of magic, and it's hard to beat magic with like pure physical strength. Yeah, but it was like, how the fuck do we beat this nigga? Yeah. That shit was crazy. <laughs> um, Movies. Hmm. Kill Bill was always crazy for me, too. Um, when she was fighting the crazy 88s, and it wasn't 88 of them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely 127 of them motherfuckers. It was, it was a bunch of them. Um, that shit was actually crazy. Um, yeah, like, it was a bunch of scenes. Like, that's that's when I felt, well, I fell in love with Tarantino movies, like, early, maybe, like, Pulp Fiction. Like, uh, when Bruce Willis' character had killed Vincent, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then you see him <laughs> in other scenes of the movie. I'm like, oh, this is how Quentin Tarantino tell his movies. Yeah, like he just jumped from scene order. to scene and shit. So he jumped from like he he jumped from like perspective to perspective. Yeah. And that shit confused the hell out of me. I was like, but he's like eleven year old means like he's dead. <laughs> right. <laughs> how is he walking around with jewels? Like he's dead, right? <laughs> it's a few movies that's kinda crazy, like fucking uh to Wong Fu, that definitely. Yeah. Uh, Django, I never seen anything like that. Yeah, never Django, we one. never seen a fucking slave fuck up the slave master. <laughs> yeah. Um, all of the Marvel movies, fucking Endgame, like all, like it's it's always the build up. Yeah. It's when like yo, that fucking scene where Steve gets the hammer mm. and then he's fighting Thanos and then it's like he's getting his ass beat and then it's like you hear uh Falcon come in. I'm like, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Oh, what's going on? <laughs> and then it was like, oh shit, everybody coming through all the porno. Oh, I was fucking Black Panther. Oh, his <laughs> ships. Oh, his Hulk. Oh, was this? And this nigga calls the hammer back and it's Avengers. Assemble. And everybody <laughs> yeah. started going crazy. My nigga. <laughs> like, yo, that. And it's, it's, it's something about like seeing something in real time and being like there watching it as it's happening, watching it live. Like, we'll never get that type of like feeling. I won't say that again, but for a while. Yeah. We ain't, we ain't had a build-up like that. It's been like, like they did this shit over 10 years, my nigga. Mm. 10 years of build-up? <laughs> I mean, like, and then we got the nut after 10 years. <laughs> a 10-year <laughs> nut? <laughs> uh, um, That's still doing? Because I wasn't expecting that movie to be like that. Because I, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't see the trailer. So I was just watching it just, just as a movie. I was like, okay, some robbers. Mm. Fucking vampires. What the yeah, fuck it was Selma turned to a vampire. I was like, sexy. Yeah. What <laughs> um, Let's see. What's um, the video game one? 
A video game one? Uh, Final Fantasy Seven. San Andreas. San Andreas. Big Smoke was behind that shit? Yeah, Big Smoke. Yo, <laughs> I was fucking heated, man. Come on, man. CJ. <laughs> Come on, CJ. <laughs> God damn it, CJ. Yeah. <laughs> the goddamn train. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Final Fantasy Seven when like Sephiroth killed Aerith <laughs> and you couldn't finish down this bitch. I was like, that makes mechanical sense. I shouldn't be able to. This bitch should be able to wake up, <laughs> and she just don't wake up. Um. Video games. Video games. Um. Uh, Halo, the first one. The first one when uh the shit was breaking up. You had to wire the war hog through the shit. Oh while yeah. I was breaking yeah. down. That shit was crazy. Uh, the original God of War. Them fucking scenes was always crazy. Like, the, <laughs> like when you had to like mash the button mad time, and you had to beat somebody face in or some <laughs> shit, or you had to rip something apart. Yeah. It was like it was always crazy. Yeah. Um, I'd say which Mortal Kombat was that? It was either ten or eleven. Which one was Mortal when, when um they showed the trailer with with uh, Johnny Cage knocking off Smokey Joe? What was that? Which one was that? I have no clue. Was that the eleven? Mm. Whatever, whatever. Wait, eleven was the one that just came out. Yeah, no. The most recent one. Whatever one, whatever Mortal Kombat had the fatalities looking crazy as fuck. I think it was ten. Mm. I think it was ten. That the, the fatalities was like, because after a while, Mortal Kombat was done for me. Like after Armageddon, I was like, yo, this yeah. shit trash. I don't know what the fuck they doing. <laughs> what they doing? <laughs> then nine was like, all right, they they back on they they back on their shit. But then ten came with them fucking fatalities. I was like, oh shit, they back. Yeah, man. Um, hustle and flow. <laughs> had a had a crazy now nah, when the nigga started making the actual song to whoop that trick song. Oh, I was, yeah, I was yeah, in the yeah. theater, but I like music, so it was like when they started like hitting the key, when the white boys started hitting the keys and making the B with the bass and shit. I was like, oh, this nigga, this nigga's doing something. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then, whoop that! I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this shit, yeah. this shit got tough. Um, the new guy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Eight Mile. My nigga Eminem was battling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit like. Watching it now, it don't hit the same. I don't know if it's just like rapping, just like the bars and shit, or it's just like the fucking wow factors gone. But like watching that shit in a the theater for the first time, it was like we watching a real battle. Like you so immersed in the shit, yeah. And it's dark in the fucking theater, and mm. then you watching him, he inside the club, he battling whoever the fuck, and it's dark inside of there. So you think you in the battle, yeah. And when this nigga saying all this shit, I'm like, oh, this is the illest shit I've ever heard in my life, <laughs> son. <laughs> then now it's just like it's him and him. <laughs> um. Scarface was a fucking uh was one for me. Even though I, I know he died at, at the end. Yeah. Like it was just like when when he shot Manolo. <laughs> Cause like the whole thing was like, yo, your your mother called you. She mm. Gina's missing. <laughs> it was like <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so he called his mom. He was like, yo, if she come back, you know, let me know. And then he uh I think Michelle Pfeiffer had left her. I, th- I think she left it by that point. That's Michelle he, Pfeiffer? Michelle Pfeiffer, no, Michelle Pfeiffer was, was his wife. For real? His wife in uh, Scarface, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so uh, she had left. He was like, if uh, what's her name come back, you you tell her I love her. <laughs> and then he went to Monolo house. He went to Monolo house, knocked on the door. He was like, yo, we yo, we, we got war. We got to go find Gina. All this, that, and the third. This nigga come to the fucking door in a robe after beating her guts down. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga come to the door in a robe. Then he sees Gina on the balcony, takes out the gun. Shoots his man. I'm like, oh, don't even shoot him once. He pow pow. Oh, shit, him. it was Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he shot her twice. Shot, shot Manolo twice and then left him in his crib. Took Gina by force. And then Gina got shot. Now Gina's dead. And then this nigga got these wild ass guns, a mountain of coke, sniffing <laughs> all this shit, shooting everybody, not feeling no pain. I take your fucking bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I say, uh, Terminator Two. Oh yeah, when that shit first came out. Yeah, yeah, that was that, that was that was a fucking event. Yeah, like that was like that was something like if you didn't see like that in like Marvel movies, like it's it's, it's a few <laughs> movies. If you don't see it that weekend, yeah. Monday you fucked because <laughs> everybody's spoiling it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Terminator shit. Uh, damn, what else? I remember when Blade first came out. That was then a, the second one came out. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a bunch of movies. A movie. How was Avatar? Avatar was straight just because of the technology. And shit. Yeah. That's what people was bugging over. Yeah. Was, um. I don't know. Movie, movies don't hit the same now, man. 
Cause everybody, they all remakes and shit. <laughs> ain't yeah, ain't nothing much. original. Ain't nothing. They ain't writing nobody. They ain't writing nothing to be thrilling no more. It's just let's remake this shit and make a couple dollars, then move on to the <laughs> next one. See if we can put Kevin Hart in it somehow. Yeah. Um, I hate to say it, but that Blair Witch shit. Cause I thought that shit was. Real yeah, we thought that shit was real. Yeah, it was well, some I bullshit. It was real. <laughs> it was some bullshit niggas with a camera. I was like, they found the camera in the woods. They probably filmed that shit with like fucking fifty dollars. <laughs> yo, they they yo, that was a worldwide phenomenon. Yo. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know another one? Uh, do the right thing. Oh, yeah. When they kill Radio Raheem. <laughs> I, yeah. Honestly, that might have been like my first depiction of like police brutality. Do the right thing? Yeah, when they kill Radio Raheem. Yeah. I think, what's, what year did fucking do the right thing come out? Because <laughs> if that was before Rodney King, then that was. I think it was. Because do the right thing. Rodney King happened in like the nineties, the early nineties. Ninety four, I want to say Rodney King ever. Do the right thing had to be. Do like the right the thing 90s. came out. Uh, no, no, eighties. It had to be like the nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see this shit till I was like five or six. Yeah. Rodney King shit happened. Uh, like ninety three. Rodney King. Ninety three. Right. Um. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Wiki, wiki, wiki. <laughs> what are you trying to erase it from history? Yeah, so <laughs> 1991. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, so yeah, so Do the Right Thing came out of 89, Rodney King having a 91. I definitely saw Do the Right Thing. Yeah, I remember when they fucking choked Radio Raheem out, and I was like, and they dropped him on the ground. I was like, he's dead? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was happening. I was just <laughs> mad confused. And then the shit went crazy. Um, a uh, scary movie was good. Which one? The first one when it first came out. Yeah, when it first came out. Yeah, that, yo, that shit was. Everybody was spoiling that shit. That's cool. Yeah, because they that. they had introduced an actual scary fucking character. They had introduced something new. Because about it, because at that time they was just redoing Jason like fucking eight mm, times. Scary movie, not scream. Scary movie. Oh, you right, stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, scream Wayne, two. Scream Wayne, two. Yeah, scream Wayne's two, brothers, right. man. Yeah, scream two. Yeah, yeah. Scary movie one and two was good. Yeah. Um third and fourth one. Yeah, that that's when the white people took over. That's that's when it was got fucked up. Some Weinstein shit. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he fucked more than uh <laughs> knowing that man. Fucking uh Chappelle show definitely. Yeah, Chappelle yeah, Chappelle show had a Charlie Murphy Charlie Murphy stories on fucking uh cocaine's hell of a drug and all yeah. that shit. That was that's some shit before streaming services. So you had to watch that show. You, you had to that watch that shit, that shit live. There were, there were no reruns. Did did they yeah. replay the uh, Chappelle show? Like, so it came on at like 9 or 10. Did they replay that shit like 1, 2 in the morning? I don't no? know. I don't know. I never stayed up that late. Yeah, I think I was asleep. I had school. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, I can't really think of shit else. I can say Toonami. Toonami first hit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I discovered <laughs> Toonami kind of weird because that was when they they finally syndicated um Cartoon Network and, he, and it wasn't like a package that you just stepped on. Yeah, that. Yeah, Everybody yeah. had that shit. I was watching that shit. It was all the way up in the cell side. I was like, oh shit. They they passed the fucking freezer shit yeah, finally? Yeah, they got everything. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers do everything. Then again, I had to wait till they reset and then watch the whole shit all over again. Yeah. Hesh, Hesh you got one? Hesh, this isn't funny. Be real funny when I crack you with a pipe. <laughs> Damn, you violent, Hesh. <laughs> fuck wrong with you? <laughs> <sighs> um... Yeah, man. I think that's it. Yeah. Appreciate you, Pete. Just not fucking with that AKA. <laughs> um, let's see. Topics, man. Topics, man. What we got for topics, man. Yeah, I closed it out like a dumbass. Mm. Um mm, 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 mm. Okay. Topics. Army of the Dead has been streamed seventy two million times. God damn. Ninth mm. most watched for Netflix original movies. Yeah. They they said something like that. It was on par to be the most watched thing on Netflix ever. Yeah. But how is that possible? Like, Zyder But what what the fuck is so good about this movie? Nothing. Is it just, just word of mouth? No, it's just uh, it's just Zack Snyder and he has a cult following, so they're just gonna keep watching. Oh, movie. okay. And for some reason, with Zack Snyder movies, they always think it's more than what it is. Mm. So they talking about just some time loop paradox shit. So that's probably why people keep watching it over and over again, trying to look for the time loop shit. I'm like, I'm I'm tired of theories because uh, it never pans out. <laughs> yeah, they say it was on track, but I don't know if it's gonna do more than Bird Box. Oh yeah, I forgot about that shit. Yeah, Wait, hold, oh shit, about. extraction. Damn. Yeah, extraction, extraction did crazy. Nine millions. Was that the shit with uh Chris Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth, yeah. 
That movie was all right. Yo, that shit. It was mad shooting. That's that's why I liked it. Yeah, and he was he's whipping kids ass. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, motherfucker, you got a gun. When once you got a gun, you old enough to get hit now. <laughs> this, um, is, this is a crazy list. Extraction. So number one is ex- what the fuck? Fucking pop ups, bitch. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, extraction with ninety nine million. Bird Box with eighty nine million. Spencer Confidential with eighty five. Six Underground with eighty three. Murder Mystery with eighty three. The Old Guard. Okay, Man. 78 million. Uh, Enola Holmes in 76. Uh, Project Power 75 and tied with Midnight Sky is 72 million with Army of the Dead. Damn. Um, has it? I, it would have plateaued by now, right? I mean, they're not going to take it off the streaming service no time soon, so it has the potential to just go up and up, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But be the. Mm, I, I'm guessing they. I'm guessing they're saying it because of the influx of how fast it got to that number. Yeah. Well, it's possible. I mean, it was. It's only been out what as of the day this comes out, like two weeks. Yeah, something say. like that. Yeah. Were niggas home and bored? Like what happened? <laughs> 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 a nigga saw zombies. Like, oh, zombies and Zack Snyder. I'm with it. Yeah, that, that's that's the only thing they talking about making a zombie verse or some shit. Yeah, a might zombie make, verse. Yeah, anybody might make it. I'm surprised verse. they haven't done that by now. Yo, that was was it? They tried it. Was it The Walking Dead that set off zombies, or was that like before then? Instead of zombies, like 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 the zombie craze that happened, like it was a like for the past maybe like almost a decade, there's been a zombie undead. Yeah, I gotta kill this thing that's coming at me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Walking Dead, yeah, kind of kind of blew it up. Because after the, I think I think after like the first two scenes of Walking Dead, everybody was like zombie everything, Mm-mm. kill everything and put it out. <laughs> All right, man, cool. Um, let's see. Pete Davidson hints he won't return for SNL season forty seven. Um, I would say that's uh, that wouldn't be a bad move for Pete Davidson. I I think he's pretty much established himself as a as his own entity, and he he doesn't need yeah. Saturday Night Live. And then if Pete Davidson blows up, he joins that upper echelon of like niggas that left SNL and became megastars. Yeah. So who knows? Um, it's actually a ritual to well, not a ritual, but I don't know, kind of cold to do that. Eventually, you gotta leave. Yeah. Like fucking uh, what is it uh? Big bitch. What's her name? Fuck. Um, big bitch. Leslie Jones? Leslie Jones. Yeah, she <laughs> left. Big bitch. <laughs> uh, she left. Lady I think, L. <laughs> yeah, she left. I think Keenan's still there. Uh, Pete Davis been on for like seven seasons, so he can, he can go. Uh, Keenan. I feel like Keenan is just about to be out the door because he got his own show and shit. He's starting to produce. I think he produced the new All That, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, or like he's a consultant on Yeah, his something own. like that. So he, he got his shit going. Eventually it's gonna be time for him to move. Mm. Uh who else? Michael Shea is definitely moving. Like this new this nigga's funny as fuck. Yeah. He's he moving eventually. Yeah. No, nah, well, I, I feel like in order to move you have to have like a breakout success. So I think King of Staten Island kind of cemented him. Like I think that's a good enough footing for him to do something. I don't mm. think it was it was it wasn't like a blockbuster movie or no shit like that. Leslie Jones and Michael Che, they haven't hit that blockbuster stage yet or something that's like just there that they can go out on their own. I think they still, I, not that they need it, but I think it would like behoove them <laughs> to like stay on Saturday Night Live for a little while longer while they, you know, line up some other things. Like everybody ain't Eddie Murphy. Everybody ain't Chris Rock and shit. You just can't just get on the shit and just bounce just once you become like, you know, the thing or like a name in Hollywood. I, w- I, I wouldn't leave yet if I was Pete Davidson. But I would just, you know, I would, I would have one foot in, one foot out, not like just leave the show together. Because what if it's a career bomb? I think I think it's one of those like things. You have stand up, but yeah, I just think it's one of those things where sometimes when you start getting more acting gigs and shit like that and producing jobs, like this shit is hindering you because it's like every week. Yeah. So it gets to the point like Leslie Jones left. Mm. So uh, Michael Shea, like you said, the show is good, right? Yeah. Now, if he do more shit like that, it's like all right, now this shit is time consuming. This, this SNL shit is holding me back. Yeah, but SNL just um ended the uh forty seventh season, I think. Yeah. So I think they going on break for like what three, four months or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but um, you got time to write some scripts and do some shit in that meantime. Like you, if you want, you can do both. Yeah. Just in case one don't work out, you always got this to fall back on. But you know, bet on yourself. Fuck it. Yeah. You gonna go and go all the way. Start writing, producing your own movie. You got Bill Burr in your pocket. Use that nigga. <laughs> Uh, Transformers Beast Wars makes major change to Dinobots Redemption. Yeah. So this is the comic book and not the Netflix series. No, it's comic book. Okay. Um. So basically, what happened was um, it's this it's this new uh, 
Autobot they got in there called Nyx. It's, it's like a bat. And they, no bats in the pre show. <laughs> 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 I mean, wasn't they, no fucking. What was there? Wasp? It might have yeah, been. Yeah, well, Wasp. Waspinator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, they changed it because, you know, Dinobot's redemption story, what happened was uh, he tried to take over the. Um, the Decepticons, but <laughs> Megatron whipped his ass, so he got kicked out. So then he went to the Autobots, and he ch- he challenged uh, Optimus Prime. And he's like, "I want to join y'all as y'all leader." So they started mm. him and him and Optimus Prime started fighting. Then they got ambushed by the Decepticons, and then Optimus Prime ended up saving Dinobot. This is what happened in the um, TV series. Yeah. So they changed that. That don't happen no more. So what happens now is uh, Nix was getting tortured, and then Dinobot seeing it like it was like against his honor or some shit like that. So mm. he just escape with her oh, and then okay. brought them back and that's how they changed that i don't like it i mean i mean yeah i mean it's <laughs> is the beast wars that was on tv canon in some way shape or form i'm guessing it, it was but they changing it because it might have been some niggas that just like hey we got these characters and shit instead of optimus <laughs> we gonna name him optimal <laughs> <laughs> optimal prime yeah, he just, optimal. he's a fucking maximal descendant of optimus prime so it was like, yeah, they did it, didn't they? Yeah, he he, he he for the whole time I thought he was Optimus until I read no, this nigga name is Optimal. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. But um, <laughs> I'm not mad at it as long as like the result is the same. Where it's like he joins the auto, I mean the not the Autobots. What the fuck are they called when they prehistoric? Uh, Maximals. The Maximals. Yeah. yeah. Long, long long as he joins them, I I don't Predacons. And yeah, shit. And the Predacons and shit. But. Damn, Megatron, I, Megatron's the same. Wait, how is Megatron? Megatron was I don't know. Nigga, I don't know. <laughs> I don't ask questions. <laughs> I thought because I thought Dinobot was supposed to be like the star scream of it, where it was like I just yeah. want to take over the shit. But then you had the uh, pterodactyl nigga. Yeah. I, thought, I was like, I okay. thought that was star scream. I don't know what the fuck I don't going know, on. man. I don't follow Transformers I thought, I thought that closely. was hot, hot shot. I, like, well, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I was like, so who's the Bumblebee of anything? But I was like, Bumblebee. What's, I don't know if Bumblebee was like a main I think he was just a fan favorite when the movie came out and hey, they just like catapulted him to like you know have his own spinoffs and shit like that yeah that's like the original yeah but I don't know if he was that integral when it came to like the cartoons and like the, the movies and shit I don't the know. 80s movie maybe yeah like yeah the 80s movies I ain't know that nigga I've never heard of Bumblebee before the movies <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of everybody. I heard of Jazz. I heard yeah. of fucking Optimus. I heard of fucking uh, Ratchet. Um, uh, what the fuck is the uh? This is not Black Eye. What's the big nigga they had on their team that did fucking got shot? <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot. Uh, the nigga that was like Rhinox and Beast Wars, but he was. <laughs> I, I, nigga, I, I, what the uh, fucking big ass Escalade SUV and the shit? Man. Yeah, oh, I, can't, man. I can't remember. Fuck, I ain't looking that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about, though, right? Um, uh, I'm going to get home and be mad as fuck. That's his fucking name. Ironhide? Ironhide. There yeah. you go. Yeah, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> um, like Yeah. Uh, Let's see. Rugrats voice actor confirms Phil and Lil's mom is gay in Reboot. <laughs> Nigga, she was gay in the original. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she wasn't. She just looked at <laughs> Yo, I... Okay, I... I think this it is was, fan fiction come to life. It, it probably is because like, what the fuck happened to Howard? <laughs> I, yo, I thought they had a whole mom and dad. Like her, they did. I thought his mom was just like a rough and tough town boy. Oh, she was just masculine. Yeah, she was just very like. I mean, she gay. And she had a headband on. She had. The, did she have the the sweater on that had the uh, yeah. man and woman symbol? Yeah, I think. It was down. I think. You know. you know what I think? I think this is really fan fiction come to life because I think like the internet pushed them this to say that feel a little mom is gay. Because it was just like, because I don't think any of the creators or anything like the writers ever came out and explicitly said anything like this. Because remember, it was all this shit that came out where it was like, yo, these babies are like, like figments of like Angelica's imagination. Like they're really dead or some shit. It was <laughs> like, you never read the fan fiction. Like it was like, yo, people came out with all these wild crazy. ass theories. Like, yo, only, only Angelica can hear the babies talking shit. And she was like, they're just a figment of Angelica's imagination because all the babies are really dead. And then it was like, um, uh, Angelica mom is an alcoholic, and um, uh, Angelica dad is something. It was it was something wild. Then it was like, uh, Stu was cheating on Dee Dee. I mean, it was it was a bunch of wild shit. Like that, that's why he was always in the basement confined, and she won't let him go nowhere. It was a whole bunch of dumb shit. Like y'all read two, problems. y'all read, they do that shit with Hey Arnold. They do that shit with oh, Rocco. Like any TV show that involved like uh, like real people, well, not real people, but like. 
persons and shit. Yeah. <laughs> they try to make all these uh assumptions about shit like, oh, <laughs> hey, Arnold's parents did that, this, that, and the third, and uh, Helga's mom was an alcoholic and depressed and shit like that. Like, nobody explicitly said any of that. <laughs> Y'all just looking at these fucking shows as adults and just made all these assumptions. <laughs> but fine. Uh, if she's gay now, cool. I mean, everything's progressive now. You know, you got to show representation. You got a fucking redhead. Redhead baby, you got a bald baby. Um, you got twins. Yeah. Um, Spike, you got grandpa and shit. He likes porn and shit. <laughs> um, was he watching porn? It might have. Nah, it was. Uh, I think it was. Uh, I'm telling you, it's mad at this shit, yo. When niggas just went back through episodes, it was yeah. like, uh, um, it was either a tape or a magazine that they like zoomed in on. And oh it was yeah, like yeah. Some green alien naked bitch. <laughs> it, was, it was something weird. You're like grandpa. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Steve O prepare for Jackass Four by being paralyzed from the waist down. See, this is some other <laughs> shit. So, what did he? Did he? What did he do? <laughs> well, I guess he did it to uh, prepare himself for when he was going to get fucked up, because it would be an off chance that he might get paralyzed. Uh, cool. Talking about putting your body on the line for the gang. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It says notorious jackass star Steve O says he that, that he prepared for the upcoming movie Jackass Four by being paralyzed from the waist down. The latest installment in the hugely popular stupid stunt franchise has been a long time coming with <laughs> Jackass Three having arrived over a decade ago. Back then things were much different for the Jackass crew than they currently are. But one thing is consistently one thing that consistently doesn't seem to pose a problem as the guys for the guys is aging mm. so i guess they like yo we could do these dumbass stunts when we 20 something but when we 40 something <laughs> we might die <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh prepare ourselves let's you know actually train for the shit we're gonna still do the dumb shit but we gonna you know mm. yeah yeah, I, yeah I, I thought when ryan died they was done done yeah but they just <laughs> made up funny I, I swear to God, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't mean that. Oh. I had the white claws, man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> you know what? Moving on. <laughs> Rest in peace to Ryan Dunn. Yeah. Um... Seth Rogen says comedians shouldn't complain or whine about cancel culture. <laughs> yeah, these niggas try to get into good graces of everybody after that James Franco shit. I mean, he has a point though. This ain't, ain't this kind of like the Childish Gambino thing where it was like <laughs> y'all ain't making no new shit. Y'all just keep recycling old shit. Yeah, and they don't want to take risks. But it's gonna get to see. I, I I feel like people will start changing their tune when their money start getting affected. <laughs> <laughs> like you start looking at them old fucking Frelly Brother movies and shit that he was in all them comedies and they start taking away your royalties from that shit not playing I mean, them I mean he says this shit but he would never be in something like the 40 year old virgin again he's like you know how I know you're gay you like <laughs> you like this <laughs> like something wild yeah shit like that they could take that out you know how I know you're gay you know. <laughs> like nah yo, yo, you'll never have no shit like that again but <laughs> if you say I mean but that shit that we love though that shit that we like yeah. and we you know th there are a certain like group of people that <laughs> Still like shit like that. I still like shit like that. I thought that shit was hilarious. Yeah. But, you know, if he's going to say that, he has to be putting out something that has to, you know, teeter that line. I'm like, yo, fuck y'all cancel culture shit. This shit funny. I understand the jokes don't age well, because sometimes I listen to, <laughs> sometimes I be listening to some jokes. I'm like, woo, they try to say it today. Yeah, that's that's nope. wild. I don't know, man. I'm kind of yeah. on the fence about it. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie Murphy couldn't do half his jokes. Like he did <laughs> oh, Delirious or Raw, and now he could cancel, like, like I think like first five minutes he could cancel. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know. I think I think that's 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 a good point. But because you're a comedian, what the fuck are you, you? That's your job to take the unfunny shit and make it funny. Why are you worried about cancel culture? Yeah, Seth, Seth Rogen has been on the stage for a minute, mm. so he's just a movie star. He, he just sees things differently. I guess. Um. Let's see. Spiral deck. Spiral director wants to reboot Leprechaun, but Lion Gate doesn't believe him. <laughs> yeah, they think he bullshit. Doesn't believe in him or doesn't believe he, he wants to... They think he bullshit. I think that Leprechaun from the hood shit fucking <laughs> us up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, you want to reboot this shit? I 
fucking hated that movie, The man. shit that be on BET during Halloween. <laughs> I fucking hated that movie. Who was that dude, that light-skinned comedian dude that had the makeup on and the dress that he was dying? He's like, uh, Perry? Was it? The light-skinned nigga? He had some funny jokes on Comic View, though. Uh, I forgot fuck. his name. He be, he be with um, Cat Williams. He part of Cat Williams' crew. I don't know. He was cool, but this nigga had a dress on. Uh, died in a dress. <laughs> died in a dress. <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> I don't remember watching that movie. I, I remember watching like bits and pieces of this movie because this shit was so stupid. Yeah, this shit was dumb as fuck. It was the dumbest shit ever. He was just he was a leprechaun in the hood, just really chasing. I think he. I think I might have might have might have seen him kill like three people. And I was like, yo, this shit is so dumb. There's no plot. He's just going around killing people like at nighttime. <laughs> just there's nothing to this. Who? I want to interview who made that fucking movie. What, what the fuck were you smoking? What were you thinking? No. Leprechaun okay, it's directed that movie? Yeah. Um, who wrote it? Who? Leprechaun? Did he have a rap? Leprechaun in the hood. It's, it's <laughs> no good. Is it some shit? Yeah, he had a, <laughs> yeah, a dumbass rap, too. <laughs> That's some bars and that shit. I'm, I'm glad like, I forgot that dumb. shit. <laughs> it's baked in my mind. <laughs> that shit's playing on BET all the fucking time. I fucking hate that movie. Um, J.J. Abrams says Star Wars sequel trilogy. What? Sequel trilogy? Yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. J.J. Cool. Abrams says Star Wars sequel trilogy could have benefited from a plan. Yeah, no shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so what was the plan prior? There was no plan. They was just shooting movies? Yeah, they was just writing as they go. That's stupid. And, you know, I, I, I was on Twitter and... <laughs> Somebody said something. They was like, uh, well, when George Lucas first made Star Wars, like he didn't have a plan. He was just writing it. Nigga, that was the groundwork, nigga. That was the foundation. <laughs> that was the first movie. Yeah, that <laughs> you know, was the first fucking gonna... movie. Only reason, he, only reason he wrote the, wrote the next fucking, what, nine? Because yeah. the first one worked. Yeah. Y'all so... dumbass likes this shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> like that. You, you can't kind of, you can't use that excuse with J.J. Abrams because he had, he got like, what, how many, how many years was it? It's like 30, 40 years of Star Wars lore and you and you, none of that shit. You just won it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no fucking plan at all. And I was, that's what I was telling um, um Kai. That's what I was telling Kai. There was no fucking plan. They just did whatever the fuck they want. You can see it when you're when you're watching it. You can see, like the first one was decent, even though they copied off of the fucking A New Hope. The second one was just some I don't know what the fuck that was. Third one, they just put everything in. They just kept putting fan for fan service in, but. Even with that, if you keep watching it, you can tell. Like it's like, yo, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They just they're doing whatever. Mm-hmm. All the logic being broken and shit. Like this motherfucker, fuck, motherfucker Ray got all the powers all of a sudden. Like she can heal people and shit with no training. Three years. I was like, what the fuck? That's it. You no, know, none of this shit makes sense, man. I'm not into Star Wars lore. Yes, yeah, you, you got something about Star Wars, man? <laughs> Absolutely no. If I have to be five feet nothing, Hesh can't be a tiger. You're not the boss of Tiger Bot Hesh. Yeah, Tiger Butt is just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Tiger Butt. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Whoa. Yeah. Kevin Spacey accused of outrage by new movie role. Kevin Spacey got a new movie role? Yeah. It's kind of oh. a slap in the face. Why? Because he's it? supposed to be canceled or just like... Yeah. Yeah. Touching niggas' dicks. Tell him to come outside. <laughs> <laughs> you got to chill. <laughs> That's what he was doing. So, so... <laughs> So here's the same way. Right? That's a nigga <laughs> dicks. Tell them to come outside. <laughs> Mark Ebenhock, who claims he was solicited on a movie set to have sex with Spacey, tells TMZ Kevin's new role in an Italian film playing a cop investigating a man wrongfully accused of sexually abusing children smacks of what he calls arrogance and irresponsibility. So he kind of taking a shot at him. Okay. Yeah. But I mean... Is it kind of like it's behind us now? <laughs> so it's like we kind of. Is it's it... more to it than this fucking story? Like it's funny because like there was other people that came out and accused Kevin Spacey, but they're dead. I mean, oh wow, yeah. yeah it's because he's white. <laughs> I'm not for real. If you had as many as cu- accusers as R. Kelly, if they'd have made a whole fucking special about your shit, you'd be in jail right now. But because he's white and it's one person, it's a, one accuser. You can't really put no weight behind that. It's like, ah, right, you did one thing that we know of. And we don't have the testimony of the other people because, you know, unfortunately they're dead. So it's like, forgive and forget, live and learn. Come back. We got this part for you. You'd be, you'd be perfect for it. You don't touch dicks, but you'd be perfect for it. Uh, it's just weird. Uh, All this wait, shit wait, wait. weird. Whoa. Evan Hawk 
allegedly, wait, wait, alleges, alleges Spacey had young male crew members working on 1995's Outbreak solicit him for sex with the actor, but he never brought his claims to police or filed a lawsuit. So this nigga is a habitual dick toucher. Yeah. <laughs> Habitual penis grabber. <laughs> uh, bro, this nigga. Oh, nigga be jostling. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be going jostle crazy. <laughs> yeah, like it's funny because when he mentioned it, I definitely thought of Terry Crews. He just walked up, walked up, took his dick, it's like, come outside. Like, what? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Are you the key grip here? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the initiation or something like that? <laughs> Secret handshake? <laughs> Gang signs on that dick. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? What's going on here? <laughs> The fuck? God damn, yo! Oh man, oh. that's crazy. Hesh, you got anything to say, man? Well, then Hesh will stay human. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so Charlie bit my finger. <laughs> video is being taken offline to become an NFT. Yo, this NFT shit is going too far. That was that was probably the first viral video I've ever seen. Charlie bit me. Charlie bit me. Ah, Charlie bit me. <laughs> that's like that's that's the first video I've, I've ever seen. Cause I was like, I think if I remember correctly, my mind ain't fucking jello. <laughs> I think somebody said that shit. And I said, Yo, what is YouTube? I might have said that. <laughs> and then I saw this shit, and then it just blew up. Because of the Charlie bit me shit. Yeah, the Charlie like somebody like they were mentioning this shit to me, and I was like, Where do you watch this shit? And it was like YouTube. What mm. the fuck is YouTube? And then <laughs> I log on there, and you watch shit. Oh, this shit is pretty funny. This little. Baby bit his little his, his older brother that's like two years old. Charlie bit me. Now they took it offline. It became an NFT, and I think it sold for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Seven hundred and sixty million. So my question is, how do people make money off of like the owner of the NFT? How do they make money off of this shit now? I guess nobody's going back to watch a fucking what nineteen year old video or like a fifteen year old video. I don't think you can. I think after they buy it, they take it all all the way off the internet. What the fuck what is the I'm, point of owning it? It's kind of... It's just, everything's digital. It just doesn't make no fucking sense. My only thing is, like, if you're going to own it, you would have to redistribute it somewhere so you can make money off of it forever. For, yeah. like, a lifetime. Your kids, kids, kids can make money on it because you own this just viral sensation video. Man. If you just own it just to own it, I'm pretty sure somebody ripped the shit in it somewhere. It's like, we could still watch this shit if we wanted to, but what, what, is, the, what is the point of owning a... a a video NFT if you're not going to put it back online. I don't know. This whole NFT shit is fucking bothering me because I don't know what it is and niggas is making fucking millions, like tens of millions. I don't really get the NFT shit yet. I don't get how they're going to regulate this shit because like you said, like somebody, somebody obviously ripped it and it's always going to be around, but I don't know if it's a thing that if... It just drops online and then somebody sees it, it automatically gets taken off or some shit. I don't know how mm. they can regulate that shit. All of this shit is digital. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah. Uh Shamik Moore under fire for saying Rosa Parks should have taken a cab. <laughs> <laughs> now, I saw this. This happened last year. Is it? Yeah, this happened last year, and they flame this nigga. Mm. It's like, yo, how dare you talk so anti black about one Rosa Parks and two, what the fuck is you doing though? I think <laughs> This might have been around the time, um, which call it came out. Into the Spider Verse came out, maybe. Oh, it was- it might. It might have been. It might have been like a no. It was that other Netflix show. Uh, what was the other shit? He was like Shaolin Fantastic. Shaolin Fantastic. Remember, it was a show with Jada Smith, and it was like breakdancers or like they, nope. they, they was like rappers or nope. some shit. No, it wasn't dope. It was uh. It was another. He was the other. It was another light skinned nigga that was the fucking. <laughs> oh God. Jaden Smith Netflix show. It's what the the get down. Oh, yeah. it might have been after that went off the air for good, and he said this blasphemous shit. Did like I, I know this was after the get down had went off, and this was after Into the Spider Verse. He said this shit, and then they fucking flamed him mm-hmm. to the point was like I haven't seen a nigga tweet since. I don't <laughs> like mad people unfollowed him. It was they was getting at his ass. Mm-hmm. But it was some dumb shit. <laughs> it was it was mad <laughs> ignorant for no reason. But he he went he wanted them woke niggas now. Oh, but it's like the wrong type of woke. <laughs> where it was like, yo, you take like just like like you'll take some shit that's sensitive and then try to make the most sense out of it, and it makes oh. sense in your world. But like to the, it might make sense to ten niggas, but to ten million others, it was like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about, man? But shout out to Shamik Moore. Hope you're doing good. Hope your mental health is good. <laughs> 
Um, Amazon to buy MGM Studios for eight point four five billion dollars. Yep, that's crazy. Remember we were talking about uh, how they were trying to shop around the Bond movie to release it. Yeah, and they tried to. They actually tried to sell it to Amazon for like six hundred million. Mm-hmm. We just bought the whole shit. We just bought the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just put it on there. And don't have to get y'all shit. Yeah, I think they get the movie. I think they get if I'm. If I'm not mistaken, I think they get the Bond movie, but they don't get the Bond franchise. Mm. So I think it's leased out or something like that. That's what I heard. Wow. But shit, you got MGM. Fuck yeah, you got Amazon MGM. Yeah. Amazon about to be a piece of shit. Yo, speaking of Kevin Spacey, right? I'm surprised no allegations have come up about Jeff Bezos. I'd have definitely said Jeff, Jeff Bezos touched me. <laughs> <laughs> yo, how much can you get from the richest man in the world, dog? <laughs> yeah, I I'd have definitely, yo, he, yo, he did one one night, man. We were somewhere, <laughs> called me in the back room, asked me if I wanted to do this. <laughs> Next thing I know, pants at my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, oh, what's what's uh, MGM? Let me see. Damn, this nigga's been out 1920s. Is that the shit with the lion? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, that shit. Nah, I know that lion been dead, but damn, man. <laughs> That's mad <laughs> shit. <laughs> what movies are on? Let me see. Exactly the most cool. iconic movies on oh, MGM. Balboa. Balboa? Rocky Balboa. Oh, no. Uh, Pink that. Panther. Yeah, fuck that movie. No. Nah, uh, <laughs> Science of the Lands, Robocop, 12 Angry Men, Basic Instinct. I love that movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moonstruck, don't know. Poltergeist, yep, know that. Raging Bull, Stargate, no. Raging that. Bull, yeah. Thelma and Louise, Tomb Raider, The Magnificent Seven. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, they got some shit, man. They, they, they. Amazon ain't playing. Amazon can buy most of the companies you like if they wanted to. Yeah, I think we were wrong though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were saying that it was gonna be a big three streaming service. I think they're yeah. in the running now. I, yo, who else? It's, it's Amazon, yep. Hulu, Netflix, yep. ain't it? Or Amazon, what, ne- or Amazon, Netflix, and Hulu. I put with Disney Plus because Disney it's like Plus? a package and shit like that. Yeah, so I say Netflix, Disney Plus, HBO Max. This is Amazon now. Nah, but HBO Max ain't did no big dick shit like this. Though. They ain't bought no shit for no eight point four five million. <laughs> yeah, because they keep fucking getting whored out. They the fucking Discovery on them now. That's crazy, dog. I don't know, but yeah, if you had to do like a, a big three, I think it'd be Netflix, Disney Plus, and maybe. Yeah, not I wouldn't put Amazon there yet, just because of the uh, programming that they have no, on there yet, now. Not yet. But I give it another two years, like minimum. Yeah. Before they they. It might be Netflix and Amazon neck and neck. Um, gaming news. Excuse me. <laughs> Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven has new game director. So when's part two supposed to be coming out? <laughs> it was Cyberpunk. Yes. Nah, that shit ain't because it, it was supposed to be a, a game as a service. Mm-hmm. Like it's supposed to be. A, it's supposed to be multiplayer. Multiplayer. Um, I don't know. If oh, know. so this is the same game. Yeah, it's the same as that game. It's just that they changed directors. I guess because like the director that they had failed. <laughs> okay, so there's yeah, they're supposed to be doing like a multiplayer aspect. I don't um, even know if that shit coming out though. It's not? I don't know. That's like half of the reason I bought the game. <laughs> they're, they're 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 the people who are playing, they're not getting as much as they thought. So it's like one of those uh anthem things. Uh-huh. It's like one of those it, it can end up just like anthem. Like it, it was here today, going tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> like, it could be one of those it be one of those situations. Once again, like the game as an idea, it mm-hmm. was good, but after a while, it's like, eh, not too many people playing with this shit. And then you have. Once you beat it, what else did it do? Can you replay missions? <clears throat> no. There ain't <laughs> shit to do. Like, I beat it, and I was like, all right, what the fuck else I'm gonna do? Like, just run on, roam around the fucking city? Yeah, just look at how the aesthetics look. Oh, this is so beautiful. That's the, if that's all you can do, man, y'all, y'all might have a dead game on your hands. Yeah. But. Okay, so with a new game director, so obviously they're going to brainstorm something, so that multiplayer aspect might not be completely out of the works. It's like, I'm hoping. Unless they do some DLC shit where it was like, hey, what's it, what's your name in the shit? V? Like, yeah. V does some more shit. Like, V like V gets more money for... Did you beat it? Nah. Oh. I, I got to... Matter of fact, I got to play that shit. It's, it's <laughs> an ending that's like... Kind of like finite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you S now. <laughs> maybe there's a new one. I'm you. You, you can use uh, Keanu Reeves' character more. Mm. There's more backstory to his shit, but I don't know what they're doing. Like maybe they're trying to spin it to make it work. But that would call for Keanu to go in there and do some more shit. And I don't think Keanu on that type of time right now. 
They did that with uh this is totally fucking random, but they did that with uh the Streets of Rage. Like one of the niggas that's like one of the bosses yeah. in the original game. Oh, Shiva? Yeah, Shiva, like he he's one of the uh DLC now. Oh, okay. And uh the the, the road cop, the, the round the rousey ass cop that you fight. <laughs> yeah. She's one of the DLC too. So it's like you repurpose this shit, add some new missions, add Mr. X and all these other people. It's like now you're giving the game new life. Now this shit has some replay value. Now you have something to work towards. But <laughs> yeah. the cyberpunk shit, new game director, what exactly are you gonna do? I have no fucking clue. I guess I'll read more on it. Yeah. Uh Crystal Dynamics open Southwest Studio. Yeah. Oh, what does this mean? Well, uh, I'm guessing they they're on the EA shit. Not not as far as the bad shit, but they're trying to pump out more games. Right now they got did they make the Avengers game? Mm-hmm. They made that Avengers game, they made the Tomb Raider series. So now they're trying to um pump out more games and they need more need more jobs, more mm-hmm. people. So they're trying to be uh let me see. What's a what's a what's a gaming company that just came around that throw off some fire? Oh, Rocksteady. Rocksteady yeah. does, but they only do like fucking Batman shit. Mm. They strayed away from that shit and did some other shit with that engine. That they, they'll be good, but but as far as Crystal Dynamics, they they decent for what they got. Mm. So yeah, let's see, see how that see how that goes. Okay. Oh shit! Hesh, we'll see you <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax, hey, shit, shit, no, don't. Uh, they got a uh, um, they got veterans from Bioware, mm. so that's good. Mo- that's good news. Okay, I like that. As long as it's the old Bioware, I don't know what the new <laughs> shit doing. <laughs> I don't know what these new niggas doing. Yeah, I don't know what these new niggas about, man. Uh, <laughs> but uh, old Bioware, okay. Yeah, old Bioware, I fuck with. Yeah, shit. <laughs> um, who are they owned by now? Bioware. Are they oh, that's EA. They still got oh, EA. Okay. Um. New Nintendo Switch will reportedly be released as soon as September. So they're saying that this might be announced in some type of um what you call it? Not not E3, but like Nintendo does their Direct? own thing. Yeah, Direction? some yeah, some type of Nintendo Direct thing where they might announce it then. Cause, you know, Nintendo is notorious for not really giving a fuck about E3. <laughs> Even though E3 yeah. is soon. E3 is next month, right? June or July. I thought it was June. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but I know it's soon coming up. Cause I, I, I've been, I've been seeing a lot, a lot of uh, outlets talking about it. But uh, new Nintendo Switch. Um, what exactly are they doing? We don't know. Will it be cheaper? Will the uh, optics <laughs> well, be no. better? Will it be 4K? <laughs> we don't fucking know. Um, I'd fuck with it being 4K. I'd fuck with it being 4K too, but that's gonna raise the price. It like is. other than that, fucking two nine nine three nine nine tag. They gotta fix that goddamn Joy-Con though, like for real. I don't, same, I don't think they are though. If it's the same I, don't, Joy-Con. I, don't, I don't think they can. They can. It's just I know, I know they can. I mean, Nintendo does not light on resources, but I don't. I don't see. I just figured out. I just I blow that shit with an air gun and work it for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I just bought some more than the ones that don't work. I sent those out and I played with the other ones I got until the old <laughs> ones come back. But I shouldn't have to do that shit. But yeah. you know. Hey, sirrah, sirrah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Valve is making a Switch-like portable gaming PC? Yeah, that, that, this is the people who uh got Steam. Mm. Mm. So I'm guessing they're trying to... Well, I don't know. How the fuck are you going to portable... Portableize? Is that the word? Portableize. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> <laughs> portableize, portableize all those fucking shits. No, I mean, where's Hesh Oh, yo, it, there, <laughs> is, there is a game for Steam that's coming out. It's on some John Wick shit. But it's like mad basic. It's like uh, it's a it's an overhead top top overview like uh, Gotland Legends. You remember Gotland Legends? Yes. It's like that, but it's some dude running around and it's like some kung fu shit. You can fight. You can pick up guns and shit. I was like, oh shit, when this coming out? It's for Steam. Mm. I forgot the fucking name of that goddamn thing. That sound like Loaded. You ever play Loaded for PlayStation? Nah. Old as shit. It was like you you're a uh, uh, you're like one of like maybe five or six people that are in an insane asylum. Oh, and, and you break out and you get guns and you just shooting like the nurses and shit like that. You just, <laughs> <laughs> like like for like the first level, you got to get out there a sane asylum and then you go on some mission. You just got to shoot a whole bunch of people. But it's like the over the top view, like going to legends and shit. Sound like manhood. <laughs> no, I'm talking about this. This is a game called Loading. Then they made one called Reloading. That that would be a dope movie. Yeah, actually, matter of fact, DC should probably do something like that since I got all these maniac motherfuckers in um Arkham <laughs> Asylum and shit. That'd be some dope shit. 
but that's a game that's long forgot about and I'm old, so I'm probably the only <laughs> nigga that I'm probably the only nigga listening <laughs> that remember that shit. But that shit was dope when I had it. Um Horizon Forbidden West State of Play review. Um game looks fuego, man. Yeah. Looks uh looks like it's out doing the first one. I don't want to put too much sauce on it, <laughs> but it looks like it's out doing the first one, man. She look crazy. She, she got a fucking grappling hook now. She got a grappling hook. She got some type of shock shit now. She yeah. fucking punched the ground. Yeah, I got <laughs> <laughs> doing all types of wild shit now. It's got some fucking uh, what is it? Some umbrella like Mary Poppins. Yeah, Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> Nah, she was lit. like she was fighting that fucking Mastodon. I was like, yeah. yo, this shit look crazy. Oh man. Oh man. Yo, uh, has, has you seen it? This one's metal teeth. What? I shall bite anything. He'll bite that. He'll bite this. <laughs> Nigga, that's not what the game was about. What are you talking about, dog? <laughs> metal teeth. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit looks uh, dope though. I was looking at this shit because I kept seeing like reviews and people were talking about the graphics and shit. Right? I was like. Look at this shit. I was like, oh shit, I can see the hair on this bitch's face. All right. <laughs> the hair on this bitch's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got that shit free on uh PlayStation. Matter of fact, I was gonna Oh the first one? Yeah, I was gonna I still didn't play that I was, shit. I was gonna stream that shit too. I was gonna like this shit was fun. Yeah. Um it's interesting how like they introduced like the biomechanics and like the, the primitive nature of like how, how they live and shit. It's yeah. Interesting how they introduced that shit. I don't know what type of world they live in. I ain't I ain't got that far yet. I but, think uh, it's Earth, but it's like a thousand years later. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, like the new one, they're in San Francisco. You can see the bridge and shit. Mm. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. That shit look crazy because now you got now you got people that can hijack the robots too, so they riding them shits. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. That, that, that game is a lot. That's one of the. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. That's like Ghost of Tsushima. I was playing that shit. And I was like, uh, this, this is a lot. I can't. I can't switch games on this shit. Yeah, that, that that that's the problem. That my problem when I be doing that shit, cause like I'll play a game and I'll leave a leave another game sitting for a little while and try yeah. to go back to. It. I'm like, I don't know the, none, none of these controls. <laughs> right. I don't know where I'm at in the story. I don't. I don't know shit. <laughs> Hesh, that, that ever happened to you? Hesh is down to his last dollar. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, I guess he ain't got no money to play games no more. <laughs> he got he got money to fucking not be here today. I don't know that shit. <laughs> They had some other shit with uh state of play. They was, the new Sonic. What was it? The Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors. Yeah. Was that the only Sonic game? Uh, new Sonic Son of a Bitch <laughs> game out. Um, Sony. the new Sonic game maybe called Sonic Rangers. Why? Yeah, it yeah. was just called Sonic Colors. I think that's a different one. Um, yeah, because I seen that, and it's yeah. I saw some shit with Sonic and Knuckles, and I don't, I can't find that shit for the life of me. It's probably Sonic, Sonic Colors. Nah, it was, it was something totally different because it was Sonic and Tails in that trailer. But then I saw some shit where they was trying to. It, it seemed like they talked about because I like glazed over. It seemed like they was talking about like a remaster or some shit. Sonic Colors Ultimate. What the fuck is that? They got announced this new three. So oh, no, not this shit. Sonic turns thirty. Damn it, I'm old. I ain't playing this shit. <laughs> this shit ain't for us. <laughs> yo, the mere fact that the, uh, yo Sonic is one of these games that was made to solely like battle Mario. And yeah. shit, the fact that shit has lasted this long is fucking amazing. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know, man. When I find you, I'm gonna tickle your inside through the hash's finger. Hash. I wanna pull your legs off, but I'm gonna hash. What? Shut your hatch. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, DC Marvel news: Black Lightning spinoff, Painkiller. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Man? Why are you laughing at his pain? <laughs> ah, get it? He doesn't feel. Oh, it. He doesn't bad. feel it. I did that much back. See? Laughing at his pain. You don't feel it no way. Cause he's a painkiller. <laughs> Oh, uh, but the spinoff painkiller not picked up at the CW. Damn. <laughs> what happened? I thought this shit was like slated to come out. I thought they had shot. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, I thought they had shot pilots. I thought they had shot like a whole season, whatever. Like, what happened? They did. You had fucking Hilton interview. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, yo. If he gonna be at BlurCon with no job, that's fucking hilarious, dog. That's 
fucked up. Just get fucked. You know, ain't got no shoes. You know, <laughs> want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is uh such and such. I was on Black Lightning. I did have a show called Painkiller. Yeah. Was supposed to be picked up by CW, but now uh, I'm here chilling with y'all. What's up? Who hotel can I stay in? <laughs> I ain't got no job. <laughs> I'm so poor. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that's yeah. fucked up. Um, yeah, Khalil Payne had to, you know, just not be pain no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the shit wasn't good. Maybe it was like that Powerpuff uh, fucking shit that they had to reshoot. <laughs> Maybe it was like horrible. And they was like, you know what? We don't want this shit. We don't want another black led show. Oh, man. Did you put the Powerpuff Girl shit on here too? But what about it? They had to redo the whole. <laughs> they uh re they they rewrote that whole shit like they scrapped the pilot shit that they wrote. They did. Like, yeah, we gotta do this shit over. <laughs> Damn, I ain't know that. <laughs> nah, it was some news that came out like yo, this shit was so bad. It's, it's so like it was getting killed online before it even came out. It was like you know what? <laughs> they scrapped the whole idea of the show. They was like, yeah, we just gotta rework this bitch. We gotta go back to the drawing board. <laughs> And I was like, yo, that shit looked crazy when they was in them fucking uh, dresses and the, and the person caught them online. The dresses was wrinkled and shit and they was attached to wires flying through the air and the shit, looked, shit just looked mad weird and unauthentic. And I mean, it's, people don't fly and shit, but you know, it just looked weird. And I couldn't call it. But um, yeah, man. Jordan Calloway, sorry, man. Yeah. I guess you just got to wait. Yo, yo, I mean, talk to Tyler Perry. I'm pretty sure you hire him for some shit. You could be a fucking... You could be the light-skinned savior. Yeah, you could be the light-skinned savior. <laughs> you, 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 you'll be good, my nigga. You'll be in some fucking straight-to-DVD movie or something. I don't know. You'll be all right. Uh, Green Lantern will be played by Jeremy Irvine yep. in HBO Max series? Yeah. Is that a black man? Nope. No. Because <laughs> Jeremy... Oh, he had it. That's a white man. Oh, uh, Alan Scott... Oh yeah, he's Lily White. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, yeah, in brightest day and blackest night, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what DC doing. They just doing anything. Okay. I don't even. Th- I don't even think this is like attached to anything. Yeah, y'all. Can- <sighs> I don't know. I never know what DC's doing. Yo. I think. I think they're gonna surprise us in like five years or so. They're just gonna be like, all right, fuck this Marvel shit. <laughs> Pay attention to us now. Or or, or Mark start with that injustice. I don't know what they're doing because. Their whole thing is DC needs to go completely left of what Marvel does. So Marvel's kind of like squeaky clean and they don't show a lot of blood and gore and stuff like that. DC needs to start doing that shit, maybe. But like great storyline and blood and gore, blockbuster, nigga. But is Green Lantern gay? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> it just says this gay Alan Scott for was from Earth Two, but DC later retroactively made Maybe the, mean happy? Or- <laughs> the, ori- oh. the original Alan Scott gay as well, effectively establishing him as the first gay superhero in DC comics. Yeah, well, uh, I don't need John Stewart. I'm yeah, good. yeah. Don't do that to him. He'll make the black man gay. <laughs> ain't with that. Ain't with that sister shit. <laughs> Goddamn punks. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be green no way. <laughs> green. <laughs> um. <sighs> Black Panthers uh Denai Guerrero yep uh reportedly returning in Marvel's D in Marvel Disney Plus show. Yeah. So oh, she's going to reprise her uh role as a Koye. Yeah, she gets her own spin-off and it's a origin story. The origin story. Yeah. But does she have to wear a wig and they show where they cut her hair? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh they didn't give that much information, but it was like one of those things I think Ryan Coogler has something to do with it because he actually has a deal with uh, Disney with this production company to have like five, I think five either shows or movies. Mm. Yeah. Imagine having to cut your hair for a role. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Like, she looks sexy with a bald head. I ain't gonna nah, she got the head for a bald head. That's the crazy shit. Like, you just happen to have the right shape head to have <laughs> <Yeah>. a baldy. <laughs> but, but when she was Michonne, obviously you could tell that's a wig, yeah. but just... The mere fact that, yo, know, if you want this role, I need you to shave your head. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, you know what? My bald head's sexy as shit. <laughs> I'm like, all right, go ahead. Yeah, she yeah, she don't look bad with a bald head. Like none like none of the girls that actually shaved their head for the for this role look bad with bald heads. Well, yeah, all right, here we go. Um, uh, Ryan Coogler's production company. Proximity Media recently signed a, okay, it's a five-year deal. Five-year deal with Disney to de- develop shows across their media empire. So I'm guessing this is one of them. 
All right, so it's like a whole Black Panther. Um, I'm, I'm guessing this is the waste time until they find a new Black Panther. <laughs> I, I don't know what they do with it. I mean, I, I, in the grand scheme of things, what other Black leads do we have? None. None. <laughs> so <laughs> if we we have to we have to bring Black Panther back in some way, shape, or form. You know, Chadwick. As much as we don't want to replace him, eventually we're gonna to have to replace him. It's just like we have we have to find somebody. We have to let's let's tiptoe into the shit. Let's let's just you know make you know Black Panther spinoff after spinoff. Let's tell his backstory until we find the guy. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Ryan Coogler could have his own fucking match. He he could have somebody in mind right now. Mm. Um. Aaron Taylor Johnson to play Spider-Man villain Craven the Hunter in solo movie. I don't like it. Yeah, you don't like it. Why? <laughs> that's that's the Kick-Ass guy. Really? Yeah, he played uh Quicksilver. Oh, I, I don't see it. I'm not. Nah, you, you know, you give him like a a beard, you buff him up a little bit. He could do Craven. I, I think it's all about acting chops at this point. Yeah, it is. It's like about longevity, and then you got to cast somebody that's like not too old but not too young, and that can grow with the character. So it's like if Craven's gonna be around for a little while, and then you plan on introducing, I don't know, like some type of Spider Man, you know, gang meetup. I don't know with, with all the villains or something. Oh, the Sinister Six that they've been trying to yeah, do for like I ten mean, years. You could try to, you could try <laughs> to do that. You got to have somebody that grows with the character that's not gonna age out. So, I mean, I'm with it. He could probably kill this shit too. I thought they was gonna. Nah, J- Jason Momoa is kind of like a given for Craven. Yeah, but Jason Momoa is like. I don't know. He's he's he he can be Craven, but it's just like this this character calls for like something else. Mm. But oh, who knows? We shall see. Um, and we're talking the topic. Last but not least, Sony building their own Marvel movie universe. Just not just a Spider Verse. Yeah. So what exactly are they? What properties are they using for us to build said universe? Well, they already started, if you actually look at it. With Venom? Um, that's one of them. Venom, Craven. Uh, I think there was a... Uh, what's, what's the what's the cat chick? Black Cat? Black Cat. I think it was a, supposed to be a Black Cat show. Uh, Morbius. Mm-hmm. So they have, they have it in the works, but I don't know if all this is going to be centered around Spider-Man eventually, or it's going to be like his own thing, and then some... Some way or another, you'll see Spider Man jumping in the belt. Mm. Okay, but yeah, everybody's trying to make their own shit. Uh, I mean, look at look at Marvel, nigga. <laughs> look look what they done the past three. Years. We just talked about fucking Marvel and the best scenes, the most surprising scenes. And they did that shit all in ten years. Had niggas dicks hard in the theater and shit. <laughs> the fuck is going on here? This nigga got the hand, got the mion. Uh, <laughs> nigga beating up Thanos. And we don't know what the fuck gonna happen. We got Galactus and shit coming. We don't know what's gonna happen, man. Oh, oh yeah, uh, the the Silk TV show. About that. Yeah, silk. Yeah, all types of shit, man. We 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 doing this shit, man. It's just funny because they <laughs> they they said it as if they just looked at Spider Man shit and was like, oh, we got nine hundred characters to use. <laughs> 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 Not, nobody nobody gives a fuck about a thing until you actually you could talk all that shit in the world until you actually see it and prove it. Like, oh, we <laughs> yeah. can do something with this. <laughs> oh, now now we believe you. Let's do all we can. Let's support you one hundred and ten percent. Like, nigga, I was trying to tell you this shit before with these storyboards. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that is the end of the show. Uh, picks, man. Mm-hmm. Cash, what's your pick? Cash is gonna hunt Chewbacca. I'm a big fan. This is gonna be great to kill a hero. All right, that's not a. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, what's your pick, man? Uh, uh Ghost of Tsushima. Okay. It's uh, it's that game's a lot. <laughs> and, that shit, and that shit makes me want to visit Japan. I was like, damn, Japan really look, fucking look like this? Nigga, I wanted to visit Japan since I was like fucking 13. <laughs> <laughs> they got fucking leaves falling, like orange leaves and shit, and Nigga, they white got, meadows you running through. I was like, oh, Nigga, shit. They, they got fucking the, the Mario Kingdom now. Like, they got, <laughs> oh, yeah, they 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 got a got Mario shit. amusement park now. You can fucking eat like star sushi and shit like that. I want to <laughs> power up, nigga. I want to do all that wild and crazy shit. Well, riddle me this, bitches. <laughs> Why ain't Hash on stage? I don't know, nigga. Hash yourself dead. <laughs> um, and my pick is uh this Netflix 
movie, Netflix short. I think I think it's considered a movie. It's like a half hour long. It's with Joey Badass in it. It's called Two Distant Strangers. It's about this uh black kid who keeps getting killed over and over again by this white cop. And he's he's just trying to get home to his dog. <laughs> Man. So he can get killed by the white cop? He keep, he keep, he keeps getting killed by this white cop and he has to relive that day over and over again. And now he has to figure out how to get home from this white cop. <laughs> he just keeps getting killed. It's 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 one of those movies. Like that's it's not like that's not like some black mirror shit or something. <laughs> not mean, not black mirror, but uh Love, love, Death Robots. That's like yeah. Love, love Death Robots. It's some shit. shit. It's, it's, it's something along that vein, but you know, it's starring Joey Badass. <laughs> Joey, Joey Badass does a good job acting, and um, yeah, it's, it's like a half hour long. Um, not gonna spoil nothing. Just you know, if you're into shit like that, you know, just give it, a, give it a watch. Um, other than that, uh, Bobby, is there anything else? Uh, nope. Hesh, is there anything else? <laughs> Hey, what's Hesh's best friend? Oh my God, Ross! Or it could have been if Hesh ever talked to him. <laughs> I guess not, Hesh. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so Ninja yeah. Vanish. We out of here.